So over here, you can see that I have a report. And if I were to go to view right here and click on, let's say, for example, Xbox, then what happens is that the Xbox gets selected and you see the data for that particular um, uh, value over here on the other charts as well. That is because cross filtering is currently turned on. You click around, reset right here, and everything resets back out. You can go around and click on pie chart over here as well. And the same thing happens with the other charts as you can see right here. If you don't want this to happen, then you can go around onto edit and you can select out the chart where you want to turn off the cross filtering. And then over here on the chart interaction section, you can see cross filtering is an option. You can turn this off. And if you were to click go to view now and click over here, you can see that nothing happens. But if I were to go around over here, the same thing happens because I haven't turned off the cross uh, filtering for these um, data is right here. So I'm going to go around and do the same for these as well. So let me just go around, turn off cross filtering over here for this chart and for this chart as well. So turn off cross filtering right here. So once I do that and go to view, then this is what you have as you can see. So if I were to click on this, nothing happens in specific now and it is not interactive anymore. And that is how you can change around the filtering interaction of um, charts inside of the um, um, uh, reports in Google Data Studio. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.